G'day guys, how are you? Hope you're all having a fantastic evening or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Here in Australia, it's a very pleasant evening, so I thought before I go to sleep, why not share another movie review? So hopefully you find this one just as interesting. This is an action-slash-adventure-slash-comedy from South Korea. Korean language English subs, released in the year 2008, directed by Ji Woon Kim, and this movie is called The Good, The Bad, The Weird. And the story of The Good, The Bad, The Weird is as follows. Forget the spaghetti western. Here comes the noodle western. A kinetic non-stop ride through the lawless plains of 1930s Manchuria that begins with a ballsy train heist and then goes head-on with the entire Japanese army. Three strangers engage in a race against time with a map that leaves for mysterious treasure. As the battle for the map escalates, who is going to be the one left standing after the final showdown? So basically this movie is a spin-off The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. It's taken those elements and it's made it its own in a very South Korean sort of feeling. So it's set in the 1930s and there are three main characters who are all after the one thing, which is a map that leads to a hidden treasure. So at the start of the film, word gets out that the map is located with a gentleman who is riding a train. So there's a train heist and this leads to one of these three getting the, the map and escaping and basically the other two want this map as well so the whole movie is them chasing this one person and what they're trying to do is outsmart each other uh, outsmart each other and trying to get the map first and get to the treasure so who wins the race that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with the synopsis now my thoughts on the film Ji Woon Kim, if you're familiar with South Korean cinema, very, very good director. He has since gone on to make Arnold Schwarzenegger's latest movie, The Last Stand. So if you like The Last Stand and you like the action element in The Last Stand, this one is really going to appeal to you because I really like The Last Stand. I feel that Ji Woon Kim hasn't sold out. He's kept his unique style and he's made it you know, very, very reminiscent in The Last Stand. So if you enjoyed that one, please go out there and check out The Good, The Bad, The Weird. It's a little bit different in the style as in this is a Western and it's a little bit more of a comedy, but The Last Stand had the typical Ji Woon Kim humour. So that's the type of director he is. He's a very stylized director and he's one of these directors who can combine multiple genres very, very naturally. With the uh, his first film, The Quiet Family, he combined horror and comedy very, very well. With I Saw the Devil, he combined action with horror very well. And then this one, he combines action with comedy supremely. Now, this is a fantastically fun film. It goes for two hours, but it never feels like it goes for two hours. I was a little bit disappointed when it actually finished. I thought it capped it off very well, but it's one of those films that you just want to see go on and on because it's just that fun. Now, what I liked about it is the fact that he's borrowed the elements from the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, he's paid respect to it, but he's made it his own. So it's not a remake. It's not a film that's basically copying the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's just, you know, calling it a South Korean version. This is a movie that borrows those ideas, but puts ideas of, of its own. It's a really far out film. It's very, very funny. The characters are very rich in depth. I thought the script was absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of slapstick humor. There's a lot of humor that is very subtle. And I just felt like everything come naturally. You know, the fight scenes, the, the action sequences, the choreography was absolutely outstanding. The camera angles, you're right there with them. So it's really thrilling stuff. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, but at the same time, it's very funny. So it's never a film that you're going to take seriously, but it's serious enough to keep you thrilled. And it's not the type of film that is going to feel like it gets bogged down. With the movie that goes for two hours, it's very difficult to capture the, uh, the attention of the audience through a sustained period. But Jean Woon Kim does it fantastically well. I saw The Devil as another example of keeping the audience occupied with what's on screen. And you never look at the time and think, you know, is this over yet? What's going on? Come on, let's just pick it up a little bit. Because it escalates and it never feels like it hits a lull. So it starts off from the start. It's a very action-packed start. And you kind of think to yourself, well, uh, is he going to be able to maintain this action pack, uh, this action? And is he going to be able to maintain the thrilling aspect to it? But it just rises and rises and rises. With a lot of films like this, it tends to rise and then all of a sudden it will hit a, a dull patch. And then it'll go up again and then it'll hit a dull patch. And then sometimes it'll just go down again. But this movie, it just keeps on going up and up and up. And it just sustains. It's a sustained sort of thrilling aspect to it. You get a lot of laughs. The acting is fantastic. Lee Byung Hun, who is in a lot of um, Jin Woon Kim's films, is a fantastic um, 
actor. He plays the villain very well. You've got Kang Ho So, who plays the crazy guy. He was the funniest character in the film. He's my favourite. And it's the type of movie that you're going to pick a favourite character because they're also they're more of a caricature rather than they, uh, rather than a serious sort of character like in The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Uh, the Good, The Bad, The Ugly, you know, very colourful characters, but it's a very serious film. Whereas this one is kind of like a Good, The Bad, The Ugly in another dimension, you know, in a very cartoon sort of way. Uh, it's a very brutal sort of film. There are some brutal sort of aspects to the movie but as I said the the mood of the film is very fun so when the brutal sort of stuff happens it's never really that disturbing because you're laughing and there are a few scenes that kind of um, give the film a little bit of a twist which is a welcome surprise I wasn't expecting that and that's what really keeps the or um, the attention to the audience um, I thought that the twist wasn't really necessary but it never really distracts from where the film wants to go. And what the film wants to do is create something that's action-packed and funny and just a film that you can really sit back and enjoy. And that, that's one word that I can uh, sum the film up with, and that is enjoyable. Um, it's one of the uh, those sorts of films that if you watch a movie that's really depressing and you want something that's going to lighten up the mood and it's just a movie that you can sit back, you're never feeling bored, you're never feeling like the movie's dictating anything to you, you know, kind of lecturing you. It's just a good old-fashioned, fun action film that I would recommend for everybody. There is a lot of laughs in it, there's a lot of action, and as I said, a lot of attention to detail in the characters, but it never gets bogged down in the characters. You know, it, it has a very smooth uh, continuity and I felt that everything was judged perfectly. Kim, um, Kim Ji Woon is a fantastic director, and this movie is, you know, is no different. It's an absolutely fantastic film. If you're a fan of uh, the The Last Stand, which is his latest film, then you're definitely going to have to check this one out because this one is equally as enjoyable and equally as action packed. So overall, for this South Korean action slash adventure slash comedy, I am going to give this one five stars. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.